hi guys welcome back to the new video on exception handling and this is our final video that is our final module in C++ so in this video we are going to talk about how exceptions can be handled in C++ programming so let us begin uh, let us first start with the basics of you know what exception handling is and how it is you know managed or how it is you know written in terms of syntax in C++ so exceptions are basically let's say you have a certain code wherein you are dividing two integers and the second integer is zero in that case compiler sometimes gives you error that you know a number cannot be divided by zero but then along with the error it will also terminate your program so technically your program is not going to run 100 percent of the time so to avoid situations like this when you have certain care that you can take so that you can ensure that your program continues to run even if there is some wrong scenario that can get built up during the lifetime of your program so this could be one case but there could be another cases like you are working on files and you know the file does not exist or maybe the file is not accessible or anything there are multiple cases and there are various scenarios wherein you know uh, there could be errors and we need to ensure that you know and these errors or exceptions need to be you know, handled very carefully so exception handling was technically not part of original c++ library uh, it was a new feature that was added into ansi c++ the reason was when c++ got popularity most of the programmers wanted this functionality to be to get built so that is why uh, there was huge demand for this particular feature so that is the reason that this feature got introduced in ANSI C++. Exception handling mechanism is built around three keywords, try, catch, and throw. So these are three keywords, try, throw, and catch. So try basically detects an exception. So during your program, so let's say these are your statements. So this try keyword will ensure that it detects whatever the exception that can occur in the code block specified inside of this curly braces and then you have throw which throws exception when a problem is shown up by your code or that is detected by the try catch block and finally we have catch block or the catch keyword so if you just check this catch block over here so whatever exception that is thrown by throw keyword that will be captured over here and then you can perform certain number of steps over here okay so again just to revise try will detect error among these statements and you can use throw keyword to throw the exception and finally you can have a catch block wherein you can make use of the exception and execute certain statements so we'll see one example on exception handling now so this is one function division to which i'm passing two parameters a and b both are integer I'm just checking whether b is equal to equal to 0 and if it is equal to 0 I am throwing exception specifying a string over here that is division by 0 condition and in case this uh, is false so this line will be executed so compiler is going to return me a divided by b so now inside of main function I have two numbers a and b both integer with initialized value as 10 and 0 then I have another variable c of type double and it is initialized to zero then now inside of try statement i'm writing these statements so this program is basically for checking the division operations to perform division operations so let's say you pass 10 divided by 20 so there's no problem you will get 0 0.5 but when you are going to perform 10 divided by zero so there would be an error so this exception or this certain condition we need to tackle otherwise your program is going to get uh, you know terminated that would be an abrupt termination so to avoid that what i'm doing is i am writing this code block inside of try and i'm calling this function division to which i'm passing a and b so we have purposely specified values of a and b as 10 and 0 and i'm passing 10 and 0 over here so division function will be called so 10 and 0 will be passed over here because this condition is true now b is equal to 0 so i'm throwing this exception now okay so this string will be passed here as the character pointer 
the character pointer variable is msg that is message mm -hmm. and then i'm just printing this message over here on the output screen so this code block will be executed inside of which is in all the statements which are part of your catch block once the exception is thrown so output of this program is this string because obviously exception was thrown it was caught by catch block and this line got printed so this is how beautifully we can manage exceptions now let us check how we can rethrow an exception okay there could be certain instances when you throw an exception but you still require another uh, you know exception to take care of okay so assuming this is your main function then c out i am just for demonstration purpose i'm just writing main function over here so the once the compiler reaches here it will print on the output screen main function then inside of my try function i am calling this external function that is exception handler okay now if there is exception inside of this function this catch block will be called okay and this line will be printed so now let us see what happens when this function is called so inside of this function i am having another try block so inside of this try block i am throwing exception okay without checking anything i'm just because this is an example so i'm just throwing this exception directly now once this exception is thrown so this catch block will be called so this string will be passed over here to this character pointer and i'm just printing c out exception in the function okay and now when i call throw so another exception will be thrown so this is we are rethrowing exception inside of a try catch block okay so because this exception is thrown this line will also be printed because technically this whole function is part of this call function okay so because exception is freshly thrown over here and there is no catch block attached to it so it will be directed towards here okay and this line will also be printed okay so output of this program is main function because this was printed first and then from this function call we went to this particular function call and then because this exception was thrown inside of this try catch this catch block was executed and this line got printed that is the second line exception in function and because of this throw this catch block was executed and finally this line was printed that is exception in main this is how we can rethrow an exception okay now let us check how we can have multiple catch blocks inside a same function inside a same program rather i would say so this is our exception handler function this is our main function so inside of main uh, i'm writing c out test multiple catch blocks and then this is my exception handling function this can be anything i'm just passing two values for in the first line i'm passing this one and in the second line i'm passing zero so during the first call let us see what is going to happen i have passed one as a parameter so a is equal to one and inside of try i am just checking this condition whether a is greater than zero if it is greater than zero i am throwing variable a which is nothing but a reason being a is greater than zero so this condition is true and this exception will be thrown now because a is an integer okay so we have two catch blocks one is here another one is here so this catch block has parameter as integer and another catch block has parameter as character so because we are throwing one integer now so this block will be executed so it will print c out catch a integer and value of a that is one okay and after that this function call will get completed and then we have the second function call wherein i'm passing zero so in the next iteration or in the next function call when a is equal to zero so this condition will be false so this time this exception will be thrown so throw character a so now the second time this particular catch block will be executed so it is going to print catch character and it will print a that is zero so based on what the type of exception that i'm throwing or whatever the you know information that i'm passing just next to this throw a respective catch block will be called 
So this is how you know multiple catch blocks can be utilized. So output of this program is this in the first exception because of this particular catch block this output is printed and in the second call because of this particular catch block this output is printed. So that was all guys for our C++ module and we have with this particular video we have completed uh, our final module related to C++ programming. I really hope you like this video. I request you to share this video with all your friends on Facebook, WhatsApp. Do follow us on Instagram. We are uploading good amount of content there. Also do check out our website that is codegod.com where we have uploaded all these programs. You can also download the PPT of C++ courseware. Not only C++ you can find other courses as well you can also find uh, you know programs that you can download for c++ and c uh, you can also download the pdf files related to both the courses uh, thanks again guys uh, i really appreciate spending time on this course in case you have any suggestions or uh, anything you want to discuss you can use comment section below your uh, inputs will be really valuable and uh, also comment out you know what would be the next course that you would want that we can build i will see you in the next video uh, till then enjoy